Hey folks, we're back here at Sundown Cottage. I was here a few days ago on a permission dig. The owner has invited me back and we're gonna see if we can find a lost wedding ring, a ring that was lost 15 years ago. In addition to what else we can discover in this beautiful yard. So stay tuned. Let's see what we can discover together. First find of the day, I think that's a 1938. I'm not 100% sure of the year. 1938 wheat head, wheat penny, 1938 wheat, wheat cent. Twenty-five, twenty-six. I've switched modes here just to try to mix it up here a little bit. I'm on what's uh, called, uh, I think, Nell's Easy Program. It's one of the programs in Andy Savish's uh, Mine Labs book, e Equinox 800 book. If it's working out here, I'll put some uh, information on the screen here and explain the program a little bit more. But let's dig the plug here, see what we can find not too far from the spot where on my previous dig here I found some mercury dimes. That would be wonderful. Okay, this looks to be some type of small washer maybe. something in the hole but she's down a little deeper I might have gotten her on that one I think so yep Let's see if she's over here okay it's a weedy wheat penny one cent on the back pretty crusty 19 19 uh, well, 19-something. Don't know. Can't read her. It's a wheat scent. Well, there. I'm going to turn up my volume here. Not sure what we're getting here. Notice I lost a little bit of depth, I think, there when I turned up my recovery speed. I don't know, would you rather dig too deep or too shallow? What do you tend to do? I have a tendency to dig too shallow, okay? I tend to under dig, is what I've found. And and I have to, you know, dig a little bit more to get my target out. But others I notice tend to kind of over dig, or they do that intentionally, okay? And their find is is in the plug. So this is a looks like a piece of brick or pottery. Pull it out of there. Okay, getting close. Oh, I see, I see some silver, folks. I see some silver. What do we have here? 
something shiny, I should say. Yes, indeed. A few folks uh, took me to task on the last video because I was using my fingers to clean off the coin as opposed to a squirt bottle. Um, you know, I keep my coins. I do not sell them. And so I'm a little less concerned about that, but for those of you that were wondering what they're talking about, okay, in a squirt bottle here, you can, um, you know, remove some of the dirt a little bit more effectively, okay, by washing away, squirting away, you know, that dirt deposit. And uh, what we have here, this is not a mercury, okay, this is a 1950 silver Roosevelt. Boy, it's in great shape, too. Looks like it just came out of the roll, doesn't it? There we go. Hey, that's a nice find. This is my fourth silver coin here at Sundown Cottage. After uh, President Roosevelt died, he was so beloved that the um, Congress and uh, people decided to move away from the mercury dime, which was the mint at the time. And because President Roosevelt was instrumental in creating what was called the March of Dimes, it was a charity to eradicate polio. They switched over to a dime that was minted in his likeness in honor of him. Now listen, I don't proclaim to be the expert on repairing plugs, but you guys notice what I do is when I'm digging my plugs, I use my ground cloth here. I've talked about this in other videos, okay, to keep the ground neat. I do pack the dirt down, but not so much so that, uh, you know, it's so tight that I'm not able to close the rim off. So once I get to this point, I think it's really important that you put some pressure down on your plug, okay, and mend it. Mend those, mend the rim, the side of the rim, okay. And again, we didn't cut, uh, we cut below the roots, so we should be in good shape there. And there's our repaired plug. All right, this is very close to that last dime, that Roosevelt dime, same signal. Same signal. Silver range here. This might be, might be a spill of sorts. I switched gloves. If you're wondering what happened to my finger here, I have a pair. I have a pair of gloves where I cut the finger off, and uh, you know I saw square no, square nail squirrel. If you haven't seen his channel, oh my gosh, check it out. It's incredible. But I saw him do this, and I thought, oh my gosh, I take my gloves on and off so many times. What a great idea to just cut that finger off the glove. So credit goes to Square Nail Squirrel's channel. He has some of the most incredible cinematography. His shot setups are just outstanding. So if you haven't had a chance to look at his channel, highly recommend you do so. Okay, folks, what do we see here? What do we see here? We have another silver. What do you think? Does that look like a Roosevelt? I think I see Franklin in there. And again, for all you silver freaks out there, <laughs> with all due respect, I hope you're happy, okay? I'm not rubbing the dirt off of here, and I'm not going to do this in every video, but for some folks that, that are especially concerned about scratching their silver, this is how folks avoid that. This is a 1946. Wow, just imagine what was going on then. 1946 silver roosevelt dime i think the other one might have been in a little bit better shape but another silver here at sundown cottage what a beautiful property incredible history wonderful owners by the way 
There you go. Getting a real faint signal down quite deep. I'm in multi-frequency. I'm going to pop over to five. Real jumpy too. Hmm. Don't know. Would you dig that, people? What do we have here? Nail, maybe? I'm seeing nothing here. Ah, that's going to be, that's going to be a coin. It's going to be a weedy. That's a good old wheat scent. Wow, that was ringing up a little high, but... Another wheat scent. Looks like I nicked it just a bit right there. I think I'm actually close to maybe an earlier plug. 29 signal. Let's see what we got. Weedy, I'm guessing. Yeah, another wheat scent here. Oil method, pulling it back. Signal ends about right there. Uh, barely close to the surface. I can see this, whatever it is. Uh, this could be a matchbox car. I see some colored metal here. Pulling this out. I think this is a matchbox car. Part of a matchbox car. We have a dump truck here. I wonder if by chance this was at one time the homeowner, the son of the homeowners. This yellow dump truck. We'll see if the rest of it's in here or not. I'm not picking up anything. That's the top of a dump truck right there. Another nice signal in the 20s here. Let's see what we got. A great day here. Permission dig, sundown cottage. You know, really so appreciative of these folks letting me dig on their property, but also sharing with them some of the history we discovered together you know, about their property. So let's see what we got in this hole right here. This is a 2425. That could be, could be a couple things, but uh, Mercury Dime, another wheat penny. Let's see what we got here. Honey. Ah, I've got a, I've got a penny. Yeah, that's a wheat. Another wheat penny. Well, I think so. Yeah, I think I can make out the the sheaths here or whatever wheat sheaths on the side. Okay. Yeah, that was a little bit low for that mercury dime there. Nice find though. 